Welcome to the Duck Pin Podcast with your host, Brian Griffiths. And now, here's Brian. We keep seeing time and time again where people insist that the only way for conservatives like me, people who realize Donald Trump is a radical left-wing New York Democrat, who realizes that he is leading the Republican Party to electoral oblivion, that he has fomented a Republican Party that is married too closely to conspiracies and bullshit as opposed to facts and reason. People can can keep telling us that the only way to, to beat this back is to vote for a Democrat. No serious person believes that. We've seen people from Michael Steele to Bill Crystal to the Washington Post columnists like Jennifer Rubin on the right, even though I'll be damned if she's a conservative, and to some folks on the left who say that you can't be serious about voting out Trump and ending the cancer of Trumpism unless you're voting for a Democrat, to which I say, what are you smoking? At what point, at what aspect of Being a conservative Republican means that I signed up for this, that I signed up for dramatic increases in the size of government, dramatic handouts to Americans across the country, dramatic increases in our national debt, dramatic shifts in policy, both foreign and domestic. Now, Brian, you're thinking this is exactly the same thing that Trump did. Why are you blaming Democrats for this? And that's exactly my point. What Trump did and what Biden is doing, there's not a whole lot of difference. Donald Trump exploded the national deficit, just like Joe Biden is doing. Trump raised taxes not directly, but through tariffs on Chinese goods that made it harder for working people, the same people that Trump claims to be supporting, that made it harder for them to buy goods. What's the difference between Trump and Biden? The big difference revolves border security, border policy, and the fact that Donald Trump believes every conspiracy theory that he reads on the internet that he truly believes that the election was stolen from him and not that he got his ass kicked because he was a crappy president and that when Democrats have the option to vote for a Democrat or Democrat light like Donald Trump, they always vote for the genuine article, something that we have seen across the country. If you look at places like Maryland, for example, and I hate to rely on Maryland as the example, but you see Trumpy Republicans get clocked all the time because why are people going to vote for a Republican who acts like a Democrat when they could just vote for the damn Democrat to start with? This party This Republican Party needs to have a come to Jesus moment. We need to realize. We need to realize that as conservatives, conservatives have no home anymore. The Republican Party is becoming more and more Trumpy as they move further and further to the left, embracing the grievance politics, the high government intervention, the government handouts that for years years we said we were against i wrote a couple of weeks ago about the rat head in the coke bottle problem that donald trump has presented to conservatives and how younger republicans are more likely to accept government intervention in the economy government handouts increases in government spending including tax increases in order to fund the programs that they believe and the handouts that they support. To wit, I say, again, what is the damn difference between being a Trump Republican and a Biden Democrat? If Republicans are all about handouts and Democrats are all about handouts, who do you think voters are going to vote for? 
Now, obviously, this isn't all about electoral politics to me because I have very strong ideological beliefs of being against increases in government spending and against government handouts and against increasing taxes. But since some people only want to see things through an electoral lens, that's how we got Trump to start with, because he fights and he's the only Republican who can win, even though any Republican with a pulse, possibly some without, could have beaten Hillary Clinton in 2016. And the only Democrat who Trump could lose to was Hillary Clinton. So what is the electoral benefit of all of this? Trumpism, Trump came in with both houses of Congress, lost them both, got clocked at the election, a retreat in state houses across the country, a retreat in local government elections. Trumpism is a Republican loser. It's an electoral loser. And all of these conspiracy theories and audits and absolute nonsense from people who should damn well know better is just making it harder and harder for Republicans to dig out of the hole. And it's making it harder and harder for real conservatism, not this Trumpist crap, to be taken liter- to be taken seriously, to be taken literally. It's hard for me, as somebody who is a conservative and not a Trumpist, to have my ideas heard because people think that I'm a Trumpist for saying them, even though what I'm saying has nothing to do with Trump. I wrote a column in the Capitol, the newspaper here in Annapolis. I wrote a column a few weeks back about Stuart Pittman and his bad record on the environment, okay? And showing how Pittman is less of an environmentalist than I am and how his promises are broken. Pittman, very left-wing Democrat. Do you know what the comments were on Facebook? Griffith sounds like a Trumpy. Can you imagine anybody who's actually read something I've written coming out and saying that I sound like a Trumpist? Because, of course, I don't buy any of the left wing shit that Trump says. None of it. But because I talk like conservative and because I'm still a registered Republican, people immediately associate what I say with Trumpism. Don't you realize how bad that is? When you're talking about winning competitive elections in competitive states, sure, there may be parts of the country where Trump is nonsense sells, but not in places where people live and people are voting and people are in competitive elections. That's where Republican candidates go to the slaughterhouse. We had competent Republicans here in Maryland get decimated because they had R's after their name because Trump couldn't keep his damn mouth shut. We had a a Democratic candidate for clerk of the court who didn't even run a campaign. His only campaign was putting signs up illegally in the medians of roads, win an election. He did nothing other than have a D after his name instead of an R. Do you really think this is going to help things any? Now, I know I'm preaching to the choir a lot here, but until the sane people can seize control of the Republican Party back, I don't know where we go from here. We need to nominate quality, conservative Republican candidates for every office up and down the ballot. We need to throw the people who couldn't accept the election results out on their ass and put them put into their place people who can actually read numbers and people who actually respect the rule of law. Until that happens, the Republican Party is doomed to failure and people like me aren't going to support the candidates that Donald Trump and the people who are most loyal to Donald Trump, those liberals who kiss up to Trump, we're not buying into it. We're not supporting it. And if we're not supporting it, what do you think the swing voter is going to do? This has been the Duckpin Podcast. Don't forget to subscribe and download.